All right, y'all, it's your boy, Jai, man. We back with another one. In this video, I'm gonna really be just explaining to y'all how you can get approved for a Hellcat, man. Well, let's get to it. Show y'all the car if you ain't see it in the first video. By the way, go check that out, but we got the cat, man. First video, it was nasty, and then I watched it after that and then record the second video till it got back nasty, which is crazy. Yeah, man. And we still around Fishbowl, by the way. All right, y'all, and don't mind me, I'm looking rough right now, I ain't got no haircut. Y'all, so really, I'm gonna keep it short, simple, straight to the point, so. Really the best thing you can do, like other than build your credit, cause your credit matters, but really the most important thing, especially if you're not paying cash, cause I don't know, like, I know everybody ain't got it like that. So best thing you can do is build up your credit profile. And what I mean by that is really just starting small, like going through the ranks of the car. So if you, if you never finance any car, it's gonna be harder for you to get approved for a car, and especially a Hellcat. So, Really what you want to do is, man, just start like small. Start with like a ten, fifteen thousand dollar car, maybe 20 if you got a little more money and you got a good credit score. And finance that for a little while, I'd say about six months to a year. And then um, after that, you can trade up a little, go to that thirty, forty thousand dollar range and, and keep that for a year, maybe. Six months to a year, maybe two years. And then, um, just that you just keep climbing, you get where I'm going, you keep climbing up the ranks, and then once you get to that 50, 60, 70 thousand dollar range, now you um, you get into Hellcat range. So that that's the, the main thing you want to do is build your credit profile as you're building your credit score. So like while your score is going up, you want to be adding cars to your credit profile because when like when you when you get those cars and you say you trade them in, it shows up as paid off on your credit. So as long as it's showing up as paid off, it looks real good to the banks. So in this, imagine having a $15,000 car that's paid off, $30,000 car that's paid off, $60,000 car that's paid off. You can buy any kind of car you want, literally. So it, that, that's mainly what it's about, building your credit profile. And I'm gonna tell y'all how I did it. So when I started, um, hold on. Finger licking good, smack. No, I'm just playing, but but now I'll just decide how I did it. Um, I started small, so I started with a white V6 Challenger, and I did get a cosign on that just because I was young. I was getting help. It was my first car. I kind of paid for on my own, so I started with that car. And then after that, I kept that car for like two years while I was in college. And then I kind of, I skipped the RT, not gonna lie. Cause I, I never saw a point in it, to be honest. Like, not, don't get me wrong, some people like the RT and there's nothing wrong with that at all. But me personally, I just never really wanted to get one. So after, um, after that, I went up to a scat pack, a shaker, wide body scat pack. And it was like the, the cinnamon sticks orange. It was nice, so y'all can check that out in my shorts too. So, and after that, um, I kept that car for like a year and a half, almost two years. But it was just so much because it was all, even the V6 was getting broken into and stolen. So I would always get them back, but still, though, it wasn't even. I don't know. I ain't even want them no more, really. After that, so after I kept that scat pack for like a year and a half, two years, it got broken into multiple times stolen but i did have trackers and stuff on it so i always got my stuff back but really like like i said you just want to build up the ranks and then eventually you'll be able to get the haircut so as you're building up your credit profile you want to get your score for a haircut i say 680 or better 680 or better the perfect score is 720 or better but 680 or better will get you kind of the decent rates um because rates are way higher now than they used to be so um, Cause I don't think when I bought that scat pack, I got like a four percent interest rate. And on this, I keep that for another video. But on this one, it was a little higher. And um, 
But yeah, once you once you got your credit like kind of where you wanted to be, and you've been building your profile. Cause like me, I kind of I after I sold that scat pack, I didn't even trade it in for this. I went without it for like six, seven months, probably longer than that. Just grinded it out, stacked up everything I could, and then after that, I went and bought the Hellcat. Man, that's the car I've been wanting my whole life. I never, I'm not even gonna say I never thought I would get one, cause I always knew I would. That's just the type of person I am. Like I really, I'm very confident, and I, I have a lot of belief in myself, basically. So as anybody should. So. But yeah, man, that's that's mainly how you get approved for a Hellcat, man. You start small and you build your way up. Unless you just want to stay down and just keep stacking, stacking, stacking until you can just about pay for it and you can find that small amount. But you can do that also. But yeah, that's 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 how you get approved for one, man. Yeah, man, that it for this video, man. I'm gonna put some more clips in so y'all can enjoy the car because I know that's what y'all really came to see. So appreciate y'all for watching, man, and see y'all in the next video. Ooh.